what we're looking at here are long-term, uh, again, exponential growth trajectories that uh, they're not going to be stopped. Uh, you can't stop progress. Uh, and today, when the government tries to stop progress, uh, well, it usually fails. So those are powerful statements. And Kathy Wood and ARK Invest have become incredibly famous in the investing world after their home run bet on Tesla stock, making bold claims that the stock would see massive hundreds, if not thousands of percents of gains over time. And well, all of it came to fruition this year in 2020. Tesla stock is up right now 1600% since mid 2019, making many millionaires in such a short period of time. But guys, that ship has sailed. It's unlikely we see another 1000 plus percent return in Tesla stock in the next year, even the next couple of years. So we need to shift our focus, our mindset on the next Tesla stock, or in this case, the next Tesla stocks. This is gonna be a fun video guys, so smash the like button down below if you find any value in this. Sit back, relax, let's get into it. So guys, I really need to set the stage here because realistically, seeing these sort of gains in such a short period of time is very rare, trust me. A lot of us got very lucky when it comes to Tesla stock, myself included. But hey, all I'm saying is just don't expect those sort of returns every single year. ARK's goal here, and they explicitly say this guys for their next Tesla stock, is for it to do well over a five year time horizon. So just keep that in mind as we go through this video. And Kathy Wood and ARK Invest believe the next big home run stocks will actually come from the genomics space. And not only do they believe that many stocks here, many companies will be massive winners, they also believe these stocks we're gonna discuss will outperform and give us even bigger gains than Tesla did. The genomic space, it's extremely interesting and it's definitely something that we all as investors need to keep an eye on. And Kathy here lays out exactly why. She says that the combination of DNA sequencing, AI, and gene therapies are gonna solve some of the most complex health problems that we've had for many, many years. Guys, that this could be revolutionary because now we could finally possibly see some companies come up with cures to diseases and maybe even prevent some of the most deadliest diseases that we face on a global scale. The idea behind this is that, you know, companies are going to use AI to learn as much as possible and actually be predictive in trying to figure out, hey, if this and this happens, this could be the next major disease. How can we prevent it? How can we cure it if it does get out there? And that's, I think, going to be a massive industry. And many companies that are able to achieve this in the next, say, 5, 10 years are going to be rewarded handsomely. ARC actually estimates that the industry can see their revenues grow by 43% annually, going from $3.5 billion last year to over $21 billion in 2020. Four. Huge, huge opportunity for these companies in a growing industry and one that's actually going to do a lot for humanity. So now for us average investors, the easiest way to really gain exposure to this industry as a whole is through a product that ARK offers with their ARK G ETF. Through owning this ETF, you get exposure to CRISPR, gene editing, therapeutics, agricultural biology and healthcare innovation stocks, and you're really getting a well-rounded basket of stocks that's really gonna benefit from this revolution. But now to see which of these stocks ARK actually believes in the most, the next Tesla stocks, if you will, because the industry is gonna see some massive growth. These individual names are gonna see even bigger growth because they could be the biggest winners in the space. So what I wanna do now is actually look at this fund's holdings and look at some of their top positions in here. The top five stocks in this fund are Pacific Biosciences of California, CRISPR Therapeutics, Twist Bioscience, Teladoc and Arcturus Therapeutics. These five positions make up 28.06% of their overall portfolio. So there's big bets being placed here and the total dollar value guys for these positions is over $2.2 billion, which is absolutely massive and shows just how bullish ARK is on these stocks. So there you go guys, those are the stocks that ARK actually believes can be the next Tesla. But before you leave, I wanna talk a little bit more about the space, a little bit more about these funds and a couple of individual names that interest me specifically. So this fund is actually comprised of over 50 stocks. I think it's 51 as of recording this video. So ARK is heavily diversified in this space. They're making their best, but they're making it pretty spread out. And I think that is a very smart decision here because a lot of these companies 
are going to fail. A lot of these companies are going to go out of business, they're going to lose a ton of money. But the ones that do make it through are going to see, in my opinion, hundreds, if not thousands of percents of gains in just the next few years. Now, if you don't really want to hold ARK's whole ETF here, I personally don't hold it as of recording this video. That may change in the future. But if you're someone that wants to go individual stock picking, a good starting point would probably be to go through this whole list of 51 stocks and try to see which of these stocks actually do appeal to you specifically. Now, I'll tell you this, there's a couple in here that I'm personally interested in. I've looked at this list. There are a few that I probably would never touch. I think they're way too speculative for me. But there are a couple of stocks that hey, may get added to my portfolio in 2021. But that being said, I do want to say that if, you know, this space is foreign to you like it is to me, if you're learning all of this for the first time, you don't have the time to dedicate, you can't really go wrong here with the ARK G ETF, especially if you have a long-term horizon. Remember, Kathy herself said, these stocks, they expect to perform well, but they are giving them a five-year time horizon. So 2021 may be a terrible year for these companies, but she expects them to bounce back and be much, much bigger in the future. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so for those of you that are still around, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for helping out with the YouTube algorithm here. So I'm gonna share with you actually two of these companies from their list that I personally am spending some time looking into. The first is Teladoc. The second is CRISPR. Teladoc recently went through a merger, but I think this was good for the business to give them a ton more exposure to a new part of the industry and really strengthen their position in the telemedicine, teledoc space, if you will, that I think will be massive in the future. And at prices under $200 per share currently, it's not looking too bad. And I wouldn't say the stock is necessarily cheap, Maybe you could make an argument that it's fairly valued here, but at $30 billion, you are definitely paying a premium for this company, for what they do, and you know, for the hope that the future is going to pretty much be what Teladoc says it's gonna be. But let's see, as I research into this business more, I may change my mind. I may think that the, the price is actually very undervalued here. As of right now, with my minimal research of looking into the company, looking at the acquisition that they made, looking at you know all the fundamentals around this business from a high level, I would say that it's fairly valued at best. CRISPR Therapeutics is the other big stock here, performing extremely well so far in 2020, and currently sits at an $11 billion valuation. This is a highly speculative and risky bet though, much riskier than Teladoc in my opinion, because this company is barely pulling in revenues currently and is losing a ton of money. But the bet here, of course, by buying today, is that despite all of this, they will keep growing, keep innovating, and investors will keep paying a premium to have have exposure to this company that will one day hopefully change the world. So I really do want to hear, do you guys agree here with ARK? Do you believe that this industry is going to explode over the next decade? Do you believe that ARK's top holdings are going to be pretty much the next Tesla stocks? Do you believe that those are going to return us thousands of percents of gains in the next, say, five, ten years? Maybe even less than that, who knows? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below, guys. And of course, I want to hear what your number one pick for this sector is as well. Either way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Don't forget to invest positively, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.